Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are in the kitchen as you can tell and we are going to be doing way more food content so if you want to see it you should definitely subscribe down below to become a member of this channel. So something I thought would be super fun is trying recipes from my cookbooks. My mom has a lot of cookbooks and I like to make recipes from them. Like the video, follow me out on my socials and let's just get started. Okay so for today's recipe we are going to be using this book. It's Easy Flourless Muffins, Bars, and Cookies. This is the book. I've been making a few muffin recipes from this book, so I'm really excited to try another one because I just tried the blueberry one last week and it was super good. We are going to be making these strawberry banana muffins and they just look so good, so I knew I had to make them. I'm gonna show you guys what you need first. A main ingredient in these is oats. I use oats a lot in my cooking. Also the scratch in my hand, I don't know where it came from. So then we're going to be using peanut butter. It does call for almond butter, but I don't have any almond butter, so we're just gonna use this. We've got honey, love using honey in my recipes because it makes things super sweet. Then we have flax, baking soda, baking powder, two eggs, two bananas. My bananas aren't very ripe, so I'm hoping this still turns out. We've got our frozen strawberries, which I love strawberries so much, so I have a feeling I'm going to love this recipe. Almond milk, also a key in my baking. Vanilla, I love vanilla. It makes things taste so good. And then to blend it all up, I'm going to be using a food processor, but you can definitely use a blender. This I just find so much easier to clean. And these are all our ingredients. I need to preheat the oven. This is something I always forget to do. And then I'm like at the step where I need to bake them and the oven's not even started yet. So we need to preheat the oven to 350. Then we are going to start by adding the oats, ground flaxseed, baking powder, baking soda. We're gonna add that to our food processor and process that until it's like a fine flour. Okay guys, to start off this recipe, we are starting off with one and a half cups of a rolled oats. I'm pretty sure I used quick oats, but I think any oats will work. Other than maybe steel cut, I'm not sure those would work. But I'm just adding one and a half cups of oats into my food processor. Next, you're going to add three tablespoons of ground flaxseed into your food processor or blender, whatever you're using. Then you're going to add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Don't mix it up with baking soda because I've done that and then half a teaspoon of baking soda. Then you're going to close the lid of your food processor and blend this until it's more of a flour consistency. Now that we have got our flour mixture, we're gonna add in all the other ingredients except for the bananas and the strawberries. We are going to be adding in our two eggs, our almond milk, our peanut butter, our honey, and our vanilla. That is everything that is going to be our batter. For the wet ingredients, we are going to be starting off with adding two eggs into our food processor where the oat blend mixture is. Then you're going to add a fourth cup of almond milk. I'm sure you can use any plant-based milk, but I already had almond milk, so that's just what I used. And then you're going to take a fourth cup of almond butter, but the recipe says almond butter. I used peanut butter and it worked out just fine. Next up, you're going to add a fourth cup of honey. I love honey. It makes things sweet and it just tastes so good. So add a fourth cup of that into your mixture. Then you're going to add two teaspoons of vanilla. Vanilla is something I usually don't measure, but I guess I did this time, so add however much you want, really. Okay, now that everything is in, we are going to blend it. Okay, now that our mixture is all mixed back there, we are going to mash up our bananas to go into the muffin. For the bananas, you're gonna want to use two ripe bananas. Mine weren't very ripe, but I'm sure if yours were more ripe, they'd taste even better, so make sure you have ripe bananas. But if you don't, it'll still work out. Thank you. 
Then I just transferred our muffin batter into a bowl. I find it easier to mix because the food processor has that piece in the middle. So I find it easier if I just switch it to a bowl. I added in the mashed bananas. I added two cups of frozen strawberries, but I would recommend using fresh and even chopping them up into smaller pieces. Okay, now that our batter is looking so pretty because it has pink strawberries in it and we all know my favorite color, we are going to start putting it into our muffin pan. So what I like to do is I like to take some butter. I usually use vegan basil and I just go around all the muffin holes, whatever you want to call them. So we're going to grease the pan and pop these in there and then we can bake them and I'm so excited. Okay, pan is all grease. Okay, these look so good already and they're not even baked. So we're gonna pop these in the oven for 19 to 21 minutes. the spoon after and the worst part is all the dishes so let's get these going they're done Okay guys, that is going to be all for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm feeling really creatively inspired with these whole baking and cooking videos. So if you want to see more, definitely let me know. Follow my food Instagram because I really want to get back into it. It's at bake on the bright side. And for quite a few months, I was not creatively inspired with it and I just kind of gave up on it. But now that we're doing these videos, I really want to get back into it and also like the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next one. Have an amazing day. Bye guys. Bye guys.